Hey everyone, welcome back to the Drone Show community channel. Today we're going to be diving into the light effects of the Skybrush Drone Show animation design software. All right, so if you're a complete newbie, uh, this is just going to be understanding the light effects panel. Um, it's going to be a precursor to my uh, new tutorial, which is going to be um, animating a drone show using some light effect techniques, the first being meshes and the second being using geometry nodes. So this is the, the precursor to the, to the tutorial. So this is for absolute beginners who don't really understand how the light effects tabs works. So what you're wanna gonna do is add a light effect. And it automatically starts out with the output being the last color of the color ramp. This is the color ramp. And uh, right now we have black as the last color. And if we scoot it over, black will be, this is its position in the color ramp. The last color would be one and then the first color would be zero but if we put like a gray then the first color would be this gray color and then the first color would be this white color and that will determine the color of all of our drones because right now we have our target set to all drones and there's a few things you can do there's three different targets all drones inside the mesh and front side of plane so we can insert a plane right now and scale it up just to get a better view. Set our mesh object as the plane. Get rid of this. And now everything on this front side. Of, wait, let's see if I make sure I did it. No. Everything on the front side of this plane is going to be black during this time constraint. So we have our time constraint set at to start at 1 and to last for 240 seconds. We're within that time constraint. So right now our light effect is active. So anytime the drones are uh, above the mesh or actually I should say yes above this mesh uh, they'll they will be uh, using the light effect but anytime the mesh is or the is on the front side of the plane is above it it won't be activated and you can animate your plane so let's set the rotation and then maybe go to like a hundred and rotate it on its x-axis by 360 and this is how you can get some cool light effect patterns is by animating your meshes. Animating your meshes and basically building mesh machines is a way, a one of the ways to get a bunch of cool light effects. And another thing you can do is add some color to this. Actually, let's delete these and make this one white and then add them. Shut evenly. All right. So right now it is still it is still um, on uh, first color. So it's going to be whatever zero is. That's the color that your light effect is going to show. But you can change it to something like gradient. And this is the order they appear in the drones collection. So I'm guessing this is one. Yep. So this is drone one. And so that'll be zero. So based off where they started in the collection, this is zero through ten. That'll determine the gradient order. Um. It's, it's pretty useful, but I barely use gradient by itself. I usually use gradient with the positional uh, information. So this is basically uh, from the x-axis where this, this side, the farthest left would be 0, and then, then farthest right would be 1. And then, of course, you can do the gradient z, but all of them are on the same height right now because we all have them landed, but there is some distribution still. But I like to do distance from mesh. It's pretty cool. So distance from mesh is just, it takes the origin point of your mesh and then it applies a gradient from the origin point. So you could change the origin to a different location and then your gradient will be applied there instead. Or you could just pick it back to the center of geometry. And we still have it as front side of the mesh, but we could change it to all drones. And then set our origin to different location. Ooh, I'm 
All right, let's see. Let's set our origin to a different location. Oh, that's it. Oh, I. Which one is? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do? Oh yes, temporal. So temporal is the uh, is basically where the light effects change based on the color ramp over time. So uh, at one, which is the start of our uh, light effect, all of them will start at zero, and then by the time it gets to two forty, all of them will get to one. So as you can see, the colors change over time, and just it completely ignores the motion of the plane. So we don't really need to worry about that. Yep, and that's tem temporal. And then um, we can do also change the randomness, which is, yeah. And this is a good way to get like a sparkle effect is the randomness. Um, by changing the randomness, by combining randomness and temporal, you can get some pretty cool sparkle effects. So, and by decreasing the temporal speed or the temporal du duration, you can increase the the speed at which it sparkles. So randomness on max plus um, temporal on minimum time will increase the speed of the sparkle. Also, um, by increasing the amount of colors, you don't increase the speed. You just increase the the randomness of that color. So increase. You can have a thousand colors here probably not actually a thousand but it doesn't change the speed only changing the duration and the randomness will will be able to influence that and of course you can do it front side the mesh and then rotate your mesh like this and then look it could, it'll only happen to this side so there's some cool things you could do like say like the top was like a pirate ship and then the bottom was like the ocean and you could get rid of these greens and then you could have like a kind of like an ocean scene and then a little boat, something up there, but you see what I mean. You can you can see it. And um let's see if there's oh inside the mesh. So let's extrude this and then change this to inside the mesh. And now the, our light effects is only active within inside our mesh that we created. So this is our mesh and we put it in the wireframe. These drones are the drones that are inside the mesh. And as long as the origin of the drone, which I'm which, which will basically be, I'm guessing, the center of your positional system, um, the drone's position system, as long as it's inside the mesh, uh, the light effect will activate. So and of course you can animate the location of your mesh as well. I think I just did rotation, so location. And just like that, your light effect will move across your drones. So I believe that's probably it for the tutorial, on, the basic tutorial on how the light effects tabs works. Everyone should be ready for another tutorial I have coming out uh, right after this, which will be implementing what we just learned into uh, in a scene. And there's also a, a nice trick on how to uh, organize your scene like if it has a lot of colors and to make sure that you have the right color on the right drone uh, which I'll show you uh, with the new trick uh, in my new tutorial that's going to be coming out right after this. So yeah, thank you everyone and I hope that you learned something.